Welcome to my Flash CS5 tutorial number four. It's titled Rotating Earth Using Mask. I'm going to start by opening a new Flash document, Action Script 3, and OK. Click on the stage, open the properties and down here where it says size under property make the x that's the width 700 and make the height 550 close that properties panel call this first layer earth e a r t h and Let's go down to 50% so we can get some perspective of what we're dealing with. And somewhere in the center here, I want to draw an earth. Pick up your oval tool. Keep the black stroke, but I want some kind of a some kind of a bluish fill. There it is. Hold your shift down and draw a circle. That's my Earth. While it's selected, pick up your selection tool, get the crosshairs, right click, copy it, lock the Earth layer, insert a layer, call it Mask, M A S K, select frame one, come down to your stage, right click, paste in place, lock it. And you can see we have, if I click them both off, I have nothing, but I have it there, and I have it there. Go on the Earth layer. Click and open another layer and call it Land. L-A-N-D. On frame one, lock all the layers. Unlock the Land layer. Select frame one, and here I want you to draw a map of the world. Now I have one done that I'm going to put on here. There's mine, my map of the world. And you don't have to be any, you don't, have, don't have to be fussy at all. Make sure this land layer at this point in time, click on it and make it, put it to the top, all the way up to the top. There it is there. And we can put it on top of this earth. And I think that's a pretty good size. Select it all. Go up here. Modify, convert to a symbol. And just call it a graphic. And call it land. There it is. right click copy it and then come down right click again paste in place and use your right arrow just tab it over now you may have to play around with this after to get it the way you want but there's my earth I'm going to select it all again go up here to modify convert it to a symbol again and I'm going to call it graphic world world land and there it is one big hunk of world land go up to a boat Oops. let's click on this mask layer right on the little envelope here double click and come down and below normal right here click mask okay and see this little target lets me know that this layer is going to be what's called a mask and let's bring the land under it for now 
straight line. Now click it again. Oops. Click on it, hold it, and drag it over. And you see that line, circle. Make sure that circle is there to the right, like that. Leave it go. And the land that is not under that blue mask is gone. It's disappeared. So that's the power of the mask. The land's still here. We just can't see it because it's, a, it's only going to show me. I'm only going to see what is in this circle right here. This mask circle, which we can't see. Okay. Let's go up to about 150-ish. And click and draw down three frames. Right click insert keyframes so I'm bringing all that stuff up to this point in time let's you want to hide the mask Just hide the mask layer put an X here under the eyeball and using your selection tool unlock the land layer highlight the land and using the left arrow, hold it down until you get your land approximately there. Now, you can play around with this to make it the way you want. Unlock the mask, or excuse me, make the mask visible again. Right click anywhere in this land layer in here and create a classic tween. If you have a solid line with an arrow, then that means it's going to work. Let's test this and see what we have. Control, test movie, test, and it looks like the Earth's rotating. It's pretty fast, but we can slow that down pretty, pretty easily. Let's grab these three frames, the last three, and let's drag them up to about 600. That'll slow the Earth down. It'll look much better then. We've gone up to 600 frames on our spinning world here. Um, I want you to right click on the stage somewhere, come over here, open up the properties panel, and here you see this properties, stage, left click, pick up black, so we have the sky is black, close your properties panel, and we'll give it one last test. Control, test, movie, test. And there's our Earth spinning. That's a good tutorial. I hope you learn something from this tutorial. Hope you use what you learn. And I'm going to make a tutorial, CS5 tutorial number 5. And that will have a flying saucer circle around this planet.